You guys good? <laughs> All right. Leah, I love you so much and I'm truly blessed to have you in my life. When I first met you four years ago, I knew you were the one. I didn't know the timeline, but I knew with all my heart, one day, I'd call you my wife. I've been excited for this day for a long time, and I can't believe how lucky I am to be standing here with you. I want you to know more than ever just how much you have changed my life and taught me what it feels like to be truly at 100% in love. I know that this sounds really cliche, but from the moment that I met you, I knew that you were the man that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with. I'm Leah's sister-in-law. Growing up, I always wanted a sister. I was an only child, and I didn't want a brother. Boys stink. I wanted a sister. Someone I could play with, someone I could share secrets with, and just grow up with. When I married my husband, I found that sister. Leah and I joke all the time that I only married her brother for her family. Sorry, Jesse. But really, she is the friend I always wanted. Leah is also different, just like I am, and that's one of the reasons we're such great friends. Now, our relationship did start out so smooth, and maybe if you all get me drunk enough later, I'll tell you about it, just like I did apparently last night and don't remember. <laughs> it's a good story, but now it's something we laugh about. Leah, I got to watch you grow into a woman. I've known you since you were 15. I was young too, and I made my own mistakes, like when we met. But after our rocky start, we grew to appreciate each other and talk to each other and love each other. I learned who you are as a person. You're independent, strong, and beautiful. I got to grow with you and watch you bloom into an amazing woman, inside and out, and become someone that I often look up to, even though I'm older. I love who you are. And I care for you like you were the sister that I longed to grow up with. I've known Austin for, for over 10 years now. Uh, we met when we were freshmen at the University of Cincinnati. Austin has changed and grown so much in the time that I've known him. He's gone from the guy that would gladly jump on a tricycle with no brakes, go flying down a hill through a couple intersections to someone who people trust to be responsible for others, which is still a very scary thought from when I first met you. Leah, you bring out the best in Austin, whether he'll admit it or not. The excitement in his voice when he was telling me that he was going to propose to the way that he talks about your life and future together. Austin, marriage ain't easy. It's going to have its ups and downs, and I'll give you one piece of advice that I've learned. Smile, nod, and just say yes, dear. And whatever you do, answer her call or her text the first time around. <laughs> so here's to you both. We raise our glasses to you, wishing you nothing but the best. This is it. After today, you can't escape me. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> After today, I'll get to call you my husband. Because we'll be married, I promise to continue to build a life with you that the two of us will be proud of. I promise that every decision and every action will put you and our family first. I promise to be intentional in doing things that remind you just how much I love you. Not because I want to, but be not be- Say <laughs> so again, so again, hold on, wait, what? I promise to be intentional in doing things that remind you how much I love you. Not because I have to, but because I want to.
the night that we met, I knew that there was something about you that I just had to chase. And I remember sitting in your car talking for two hours in the O'Toole's parking lot the morning after the welcome home party. I remember thinking how crazy I was for already liking you so much when I had just met you the night before. And I also remember thinking how crazy I was for wanting to tell you how much I loved you after our very first date. And while both of us settled on telling the other one that we adored them for a while, I think that we both knew we were already in love. Thinking back on it, I'm still mind blown that you opened your heart up to me, <laughs> saying how your first impression of me was some weird guy halfway across the world. Wishing you a happy new year. <laughs> And I promise to continually fall in love with you over and over again. I vow to be the man that you deserve and that the man you inspire me to be. I vow to be the man that your dad would be proud of. That's why you were going to cry. I was like, why are you crying right now? I refuse to disappoint him. Austin, Leah, you have known each other for four years now, and from your first glance to this moment, you have only begun to learn about the life of devotion that marriage will require of you. With that in mind, I invite you to say these vows, which, which will take you across a new threshold of life, from beginning to continuing. For after these vows, you will tell everyone, this is my husband, and this is my wife. Austin, repeat after me. I take you, Leah, on this life journey as my wife. I take you, Leah, on this life journey as my wife. To walk by your side as your best friend and your soulmate. To walk by your side <laughs> as, your best friend, as your best friend and your new soulmate. I choose to marry you today and to grow old with you forever. I choose to marry you today and grow old with you forever. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and bad. I promise to love, honor, and adore you for all the days of my life. I promise to love, honor, and adore you for all the days of my life. <laughs> Leah, repeat after me. I take you, Austin, on this life journey as my husband. I take you, Austin, on this life journey as my husband. To walk by your side as your best friend and your soulmate. To walk by your side as your best friend and your soulmate. I choose to marry you today and to grow old with you forever. I choose to marry you today and grow old with you forever. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. I promise to love, honor, and adore you for all the days of my life. I promise to love, honor, and adore you for all the days of my life. Believe it or not, Austin was a pretty quiet kid who kept to himself while growing up. His school teachers loved him and he played sports and was in the choir. So Leah, please have him serenade you tonight. <laughs> Leah, welcome to the Beck family. When I first met you, I knew you were a sweet young lady and I immediately felt Austin was a lucky guy and you were the one for him. I would just hope he would figure it out very quickly. <laughs> I end this saying how much I love you both. And Austin is my son, and Leah is now my daughter. I wanted to start off saying I never wanted little girls. I always wanted boys because I had a sister. We fought terribly, so I never wanted a little girl. I got two sons first, and then one day I was shopping 
saw little girl clothes, and I was like, okay, Lord, I'm ready for a little girl, because her dad always wanted a little girl. So then she grew up, pursued her horse career, moved away to Findlay, got a degree in equine science, and I always had hope she would come home and we could still do horse things together. But then she met Austin, and all my dreams went down the drain. <laughs> So if she's never coming home, you better take good care of her. <laughs> no take backs. <laughs> so, but Leah, you will always be my baby girl and I love you. 